minus 20. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Copy, we'll go. Watching the Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Dragon spacecraft as it ascends through the atmosphere en route to the International Space Station after a successful liftoff from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The vehicle has just passed through supersonic territory. And the vehicle has also just passed through Max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees during its ascent through the atmosphere. just about 45 seconds now. Uh, the first stage is going to go through a few maneuvers, all in very uh, close succession. The first of those is going to be main engine cutoff. It's when those nine Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage stop thrusting. Immediately after that, this first stage is going to separate from the second stage, and then immediately after that, the second stage's single Merlin vacuum engine is going to ignite and prepare to accelerate the Dragon spacecraft the rest of the way towards the orbit of the International Space Station. You can see those exhaust gases from the Falcon 9 expanding in the upper atmosphere. Stand by for Miko in just about five seconds. And as you can see, the main engines have cut off from the first stage, and we have confirmation of a successful separation. Just waiting for that second engine to start up. As you can hear from the uh, crowd cheering downstairs, it sounds like we've had a successful separation and a successful ignition of that upper stage engine. Now on your screen right now, you can see uh, that second stage on the right-hand side as it accelerates towards the International Space Station. However, on the left-hand side, you're looking at a view from the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, that first stage just completed its boost back burn, which thrusts it back towards Cape Canaveral and gets it ready for a landing. We can follow along with its process back towards LZ-1 on the left-hand side and follow along with Dragon and the second stage progress on the right-hand side. Just had confirmation that the Dragon's nose cone deploy, that is the uh, shield on top of the Dragon that protects the hatch and the forward bulkhead from any uh, aer aerodynamic pressures. Uh, now that we're out of the atmosphere, we don't need it anymore, so we just pop it off. getting confirmation from our GNC department that trajectory of the second stage is nominal. On your left hand side you can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage. Those grid fins uh, are used to control the first stage as it descends down through the atmosphere. Just had confirmation of a successful boost back burn shutdown as well. Periodically on the left-hand side, you'll see uh, jets of gas. These are cold gas thrusters. Uh, in addition to those grid fins, those cold gas thrusters allow that first stage to control its descent so that it can pinpoint land in the center of LZ-1. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see that second stage nozzle glowing hot with those exhaust gases. That second stage is currently accelerating nominally towards the ISS.
we've just acquired signal as well from our Bermuda tracking station. SpaceX has tracking stations situated all over the world so we can maintain constant contact with the second stage engine as it orbits the Earth. That first stage uh, is about one minute away from the entry burn. Uh, you can see the coast of Florida in the left-hand side of your screen as the stage comes back down towards land. Um, it's still in the very upper regions of the atmosphere where air is very thin, um, but before it hits the thicker atmosphere portions, uh, we do, are going to light those engines once again to slow it down just a little bit so it doesn't burn up on its way down towards Cape Canaveral. This is a beautiful shot uh, from space of Cape Canaveral. Uh, you can see the white dots of clouds uh, that we just launched through. We should be able to get clear video all the way back down towards landing zone one. On the right hand screen, uh, you're seeing a camera shot from our pad at LZ-1. And the entry burn has just started. So that Falcon 9 is currently thrusting its way uh, just to slow itself down. Entry burn lasts about a minute. Excuse me, about 10 seconds. <laughs> and entry burn has just completed. That was successful. For those of us just joining, on the left-hand side, we have a camera on the first stage as it descends. And on the right-hand side, we have a camera on the ground tracking that first stage as it makes its way back. You can see the rocket start to vibrate around as it hits the thicker parts of the atmosphere. In about 10 seconds, that center Merlin engine is going to ignite once more and set the rocket down as gently as possible at the pad at LZ-1. Landing burn has begun. On the left hand side, you can see the uh, first stage approaching the pad. And on the right hand side, you see the pad shot. Let's watch it land. picture-perfect landing of a Falcon 9 first stage back at LZ-1 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Uh, this is great news for everyone here at SpaceX. Uh, this is exactly what we try to do with all of our rocket, or most of our rockets now these days. Um, so uh, while we all are uh, very excited about this successful landing, it's important to note that the main objective today is still not complete. Uh, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see that second stage continually accelerating itself and the Dragon spacecraft towards the International Space Station. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get our confirmation uh, that the second stage engine cutoff is about to happen soon. Uh, this is when that second stage engine uh, finishes its main burn, finishes accelerating a Dragon most of the way towards the ISS. And then after that burn is complete, the Dragon will then separate from the second stage and then begin its own preparations uh, as it goes towards the ISS. Now the Dragon doesn't go straight to the International Space Station. Um, it actually has a 36-hour uh, maneuvering period from its separation until it hits the ISS. You can visualize this as us catching up with the ISS as it orbits around the Earth. Uh, as you can see from this animation, the ISS circles the Earth at low Earth orbit. Um, and then what we do is we launch the Dragon from Cape Canaveral in Florida. That first stage separates and comes back for a landing, as it just did. The second stage burns again and accelerates the Dragon towards the ISS. And then the Dragon pops off and separates from the second stage. Uh, deploys its solar panels like it will in a few minutes. And then over the next 36 hours, 
uh, thrusts very incrementally and slowly as it gradually boosts its orbit closer and closer to match that of the ISS until the robotic Canada arm can grab it and pull it in. And so we just had uh, confirmation of a good orbit and a second stage engine shutdown. Uh, this means the Dragon is exactly where we planned it to be, uh, where we wanted it to be in that orbit. Uh, this is fantastic news. Uh, it's still not quite done yet. We have a few other events coming up in quick succession here. The first is going to be Dragon deployment. Uh, on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see a camera uh, pointing from the top of the second stage up into the trunk of the Dragon. We should be able to see that. Oh, there it goes. Dragon has successfully deployed. <clears throat> As you can see, this is big news for the crowd down there. Uh, it means the Dragon is happy and in orbit.